Hi there, my name is Lee. I'm uh, with Smarter Voice and today I'm going to show you how to cut one object out of another object using Adobe Illustrator CS6. Um, when you are wanting to do this in with a vector, it's a little bit different than just using a mask, which is you know how we would do it in Photoshop in order to get that cookie cutter effect where the object has actually been removed from another object. So I've just made a circle here and now I want to take this little guy here and I'm going to cut him out of this here. So um, this is three different areas here so I need to select all of this and I'm going to come up to my Pathfinder window. Um, if this isn't showing just come up to Windows and make sure that your Pathfinder is selected and you'll have this little tab here. So I've selected my little guy and I'm going to hit this button here which is Unite. So now this is all one piece. So I'm going to take him, place him in the center. I want him to be in the exact center, so I'm going to select the whole thing. And I'm going to hit horizontal center. Sorry, <laughs> vertical. No, that's vertical. That's horizontal. Uh, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> OK, so I'm going to take this circle here. And I want to push it to the back layer. Because when you're cutting something out, the thing that you're cutting out needs to be on the front layer. So I'm going to push this to the back layer here. And there's my guy. And I'm just going to select the whole thing now. And I'm going to come back up to my Pathfinder window. And I'm going to select this button here, which is minus. And it cut it out. So now just to demonstrate what that did, sorry, I'll make a star. Woo and push that back to my back layer. And you can see that this is now created that cookie cutter effect, which is super handy when you're doing logos or um, <laughs> any type of vector art really, because this is 100% scalable. And that is very cool. And that's how it's done. Thanks.